Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of 2 Corinthians chapter 8. Now, brethren, we wish to make known to you the grace of God which has been given in the churches of Macedonia, that in a great ordeal of affliction their abundance of joy and their deep poverty overflowed in the wealth of their liberality. For I testify that according to their ability and beyond their ability, they gave of their own accord, begging us with much urging for the favor of participation in the support of the saints, and this not as we had expected, but they first gave themselves to the Lord and to us by the will of God. So we urged Titus that as he had previously made a beginning, so he would also complete in you this gracious work as well. But just as you abound in everything, in faith and utterance and knowledge and in all earnestness and in the love we inspired in you, see that you abound in this gracious work also. I am not speaking this as a command, but as proving, through the earnestness of others, the sincerity of your love also. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though He was rich, yet for your sake He became poor, so that you, through His poverty, might become rich. I give my opinion in this matter, for this is to your advantage, who were the first to begin a year ago not only to do this, but also to desire to do it. But now, finish doing it also, so that just as there was the readiness to desire it, so there may be also the completion of it by your ability. For if the readiness is present, it is acceptable according to what a person has, not according to what he does not have. For this is not for the ease of others and for your affliction, but by way of equality. At this present time, your abundance being a supply for their need, so that their abundance also may become a supply for your need, that there may be equality. As it is written, He who gathered much did not have too much, and he who gathered little had no lack. When the offering plate is passed, do you enthusiastically support God's work, or are you a reluctant giver? Just as our Heavenly Father intends that those of us who are believers would be full of faith, wisdom, and love, He also desires that we abound in gracious, cheerful generosity. We could all learn from the Macedonian Christians of Paul's day. Despite their own poverty, these believers begged for the privilege of giving to the needs of the Jerusalem church. They apparently saw the weekly offering the way God does, not as a separate event from the worship service, but as an essential part of following Jesus. For many believers, the tithe has been seen as the standard for giving. This concept originated in the Old Testament when Abraham gave Melchizedek a tenth of the spoils from battle. Tithing was God's requirement for the Israelites. In fact, the nation had three tithes, one for support of the priests and Levites, one for the temple and feasts, and one given every three years to benefit the poor. Today, this would be equivalent to our offerings that pay the pastors and staff, provide for the ministry and maintenance of the church, and help those in financial need. Abounding in generosity looks different for each person. What's important is that giving is voluntary, modeled after Christ's example, motivated by a desire to give, and based on what one has. As you give yourself fully to the Lord, generosity will overflow. 